Hi, welcome to my uh, my channel. Uh, this video is on um, my Eliza project here. I'm going to kind of explain the build. I'm not going to rebuild it, but I'm going to explain what's going on and how. If you're interested in modifying it, um, absolutely. Um, so this is Eliza. Um, it's essentially a therapist chatbot. There's a lot of really, really cool history. Uh, for me, it was a school project. Um, and um, essentially what it does is it, it talks back to, back and forth to you. And so a little background about it. So I'm taking this uh, kind of from Wiki. Um, it's, um, so it's an nat early natural processing computer program that was written in 19, so between 1964 and 1966 um, at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Laboratory by Joseph Weinstein-Baum. I might have pronounced his name wrong. Um, it was created to demonstrate the superficiality of communication between man and machine. Um, so Eliza simulates um, conversation by using um, pattern matching and substitution methodology, and it gave users a false illusion that they're understand, um, there's some sort of understanding um, by the program. And so, um, based on what my um, artificial intelligence professor um, was telling me at one point, it was kind of cool because he was explaining a story about how the uh, prof the um, the uh, creator, the Joseph Weisenberg bomb, his secretary um, would actually ask for um, for the person uh, for like him to clear the room at during her lunch hours so that she could talk to this therapist because it was a kind of a false um, sense of um, intelligence. And this kind of relates back to Alan Turing's uh, theory that if you hooked up. It, well, it was essentially, it's called the Turing test, and if you hooked up um, a computer and um, a, a per chat, a chat system, and you put someone on that chat system, and on the other side of the wall, so um, I guess I, I can't draw, but picture a wall, um, and essentially that person who, who's using the chat system did, didn't uh, know whether or not they were talking to a computer or a human, and if they couldn't make that, um, diff uh, couldn't tell the difference, um, and then the computer was defined as intelligent and so it was astonishing because this all the a lot of people knew that this wasn't a real doctor like it was a chatbot it was a chatbot from 1966 people still made the assumptions that um, Eliza here was um, it, it, by def definition it, it they knew what it was but they still used it and it gave them that anyway, it was related to the Turing test so this is my version of Eliza um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just open up the GitHub pages. It's all built in pure JavaScript. Um, a couple demos you can run. But just type in run demo, I think, one. And it, 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 it's based on time. And the responses are different every single time. Um, Like you just, and so clearly, um, they're not um, directly related to. Um, you can say things like, um, if you if I refresh, I think it's run demo two. I have a couple of them. Yeah, run demo two. Um, it provides the same. I had a dream about my dog. I had a dream about my dog. I had a dream about my dog. And here is the example I was looking for. So I had a dream about my dog was the response. And you see, as you can see, there's only so many responses. Um, it, it, it says, um, have you ever uh, fantasized about your dog while you're awake? Now, it's taking what I exactly said and putting it into context. So I can say the exact same thing about my cat, let's say. I had a dream about copy that about my cat. I had a dream about my cat. Here, and have you ever fantasized about your cat while you're awake? Now, what it's doing here is it's finding these particular point, points in, the, in your sentence and, and modifying it using uh, essentially wild cards. And so I'm going to go into more detail on how that's all built. And so here's the project. You can just go to keepweaver, um, github.com slash keepweaver slash Eliza. Um, and there's the list. And so here's a little bit of it. This is the technical document I was required to submit for class. You can read through that. I do some more explaining, but um, I'm going to kind of do it out loud right now instead. I picked JavaScript just because it could be used in any language, which is huge. 
Um, and I didn't really want to lose marks for not being able to run it. And so um, all the code exists in, either in this index file, where it, it links back. Um, but everything um, exists in uh, eliza.javascript.js. Now, as you can see, these, so these are all our responses. Um, everything is weighted. Um, here are the particular responses. You know, if you said you, it's low weighted, so you probably won't get that. But if you said, here's 15. Name. I'm not interested in names. So if you say name in your sentence, so you know, what's your name? Um, I had her name, you know. Um, the first response it probably comes out with one of these. I'm not interested in names. I've told you before, I'm not, uh, not, I do not care about names, please continue. Those are the kinds of response, and it outweighs probably most of the other ones here, but not necessarily all the time. And so it essentially can use all these responses um, to generate a conversation. Obviously more responses, more variety, more um, list of words, you know, um, it gets higher. But then I also implemented this here, it's um, synonyms, and the idea is you know, I, I didn't want to write code about you know every single language because then I'd be sitting there all day writing um, writing all this stuff up. So what I did was I just create a list of essentially at the start when you initialize the conversation, it um, generates the wild cards for the other people as well. So dream, dreams, all those are the same. And and then here are responses with wild cards. So this is where you know you could say the words. Here's the example. If you said I am happy, it would pick that up because there, there's a wild card list as I am happy. But if you picked up, if you said I'm very happy, it originally wouldn't have gotten that. So what this response with wild cards is essentially allows you to put one to three words between uh, your sentence. So you can say I, I am extremely, extremely happy, um, or extremely, extremely, extremely happy, and it will still accept that as a response. And essentially, what it says, it replaces the word with I am happy. And as you can see, they're all weighted 20, so they outweigh um, the other ones. So the initial message is, how are you feeling? Um, when you say goodbye, um, it ends the conversation. So first thing that gets called is to start Eliza chat. And it, this get keywords by weight is where it does that whole, you know, looks at the synonyms and looks at the keywords and then create adds, creates a list of both the keywords and synonyms. Um, and then the initial message is based on, well, it's, it's going to be always the one message, but you can make it multiple. Um, and so here it is. So here's the get keywords by weight. Um, so it gets a list of all the keywords and adds all the weights, and then it gets all the similar words and then adds those and then adds the responses with wildcards and then sorts them based on weight and then populates a final value. This isn't the most efficient, but um, yeah, I, I was late before my project was due and I had to do something. So then this is the main function that's being called is here, send Eliza a new message. Um, it's essentially using jQuery, you'll send it. Um, it adds a chat history, displays you place the, so the conversation's not over. It, um, it creates, it processes the input and then analyzes it. But if the conversation has ended, it will spit that back out and then show you the response. So process input is a function that changes everything to lowercase and removes the punctuation. Yeah. So the analyze function is essentially the main function that you're looking for. So what it does is it, it takes, um, it loops through all the keywords, including the syn synonyms. I can't believe I keep saying that and keep screwing it up. Um, but it starts with the most heavily weighted one. So if it's the most important, so name there was, you know, right 20. I am happy is, was 20. So I am, uh, sorry, I am like, I am wildcard happy was worth 20. And I think I am happy is worth like 10 or something like that. So I am wildcard happy, like so extremely or something like that. It would look for the wildcard first. And then if that doesn't exist, then it look for the I am happy. Because what it does, so yeah, so um, essentially what it does is here. So var, you know, gets the keyword, checks if uh, the word is contained. So it checks if the word um, is like the is one of the ending words, and then it says goodbye, and then it checks to see if 
um, the word contains a wildcard. Because if it does, then you have to do some um, substitution and stuff. Um, but if it, the key the keyword has a wildcard in it, um, it selects a keyword and it finds the basic word from that keyword. So I am extremely happy. This find basic keyword returns I am happy and it uses the same select response. Otherwise, it just uses a select response. If it has found a response and that response has a wildcard in it, I'll, I'll explain that one after. So the select response is the main function that picks what you're going to say back. And so it passes in a word like, um, you know, I am happy is, is what it would pass in. If you, even if you pass in I am extremely happy, it would still pass in I am happy. And so it looks at its potential responses and checks the similar responses. And so here, so it creates a list of words. And so essentially every single potential response, like, you know, um, I'm scrolling back up uh, here, you know, how there's I, are you, has, you know, a bunch of responses here. Every single one gets considered at least once. And so then what it does, and it says if you know if the wild it has a wild card, it adds another, adds it a second time. And so the idea is if as wild cards are more engaging in the conversation, it adds it more. The same thing happens if it's the response hasn't been used yet, because if it's been used, you don't want you won't want to repeat the same thing over and over again. So the idea is it adds it a secondary time. And then, but there's still a degree of randomness um, because you don't want them to you know be. There has to be a degree of randomness, so it picks from those odds. But you know, you have five of one, and then all the other responses are two cases with it or something like that. You know, that you're probably going to be one to five. Um, and so that's how it selects a response. And some responses I'm going to show you they have wild cards in it. Here, now you know, do you think often of and then the star? So that's a wild case, wild card in response. And with that, um, this function is triggered because we have a response here, and this function is triggered. And so it essentially says, you know, I had a dream of my dog. Dream is a keyword. Um, and so we want to take the right of the keyword, so about my dog. We want to take the right of the wild card. Um, so while you're awake, um, I want to take the start of the response. Have you ever fantasized? And then essentially what we do is, we, these, I mean the comments pretty much say it, but we, we decompile both the, the input and the response, and we input the response into the, we, we input the wild, the wild card from the, or the subject piece from the, um, from the input into the response, which creates this, and then we, this replace words function here is where it switches like I, I had a dream about my dog becomes your dog because mine and yours swap out and those happen down here so um, that's most of the Eliza program and a lot of random functions that may not be I don't know overly efficient um, I hope I'm probably not gonna put any more work into it, but I think if you this is just to kind of give an explanation. I thought it was pretty a pretty cool. Um, there's a chat bot from 1964. Like, you know, we're in 2017, and like this is this has already been done for years. Anyways, it's pretty cool, and so that's why I figured I put together a video about it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, as well, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments uh, comments section down below. Thanks.